Good morning and welcome to the Stina Show. Well, it's good afternoon and good night for some. Hey. So today's guest is Gong Guy Douglas. And we're going to find him. Hey, Lewis. I, oh, better. I hear oh. you better. Do you hear me better? I can hear you now, too. Yeah, this is yes. a lot better. Okay, cool. Thank you. We've, we've, we've crossed Jesus. the threshold. <laughs> <laughs> wow great you sound great you look great yeah you can too this, great. Sounds, yeah, this is much better awesome hey, uh thank you lewis for the feedback that helps um so so you're in la and you ha, you've been in this uh where you live for a while now right yeah yeah i've been here for almost 10 years so wow yeah yeah it's uh yeah, it's 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 a wild time, you know. It's it's very um, everything looks the same, but it feels very different, you know, as we're all experiencing. So it's it's weird times, but um, doing good. You have, but you have your you have your studio set up because you've been there for so long. Like you got everything you need, probably. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I mean, this is we're doing uh, we're switching our whole platform over to live streaming. So nice. while we're going through this, um, so yeah, I got my little studio set up here, and I'll give you a little a little. Four of the oh, whole deal. We got our little wow. space station so, set up here. <laughs> how fun! It looks like so much fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> so yeah, I just first want to say thank you so much for doing this. I, I usually don't even do interviews ever, but wow, just because I love you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what an honor! So fantastic. I love you. Doing, I think it's fantastic you're doing this. You, you're, you're built for this kind of thing. So oh, great stop it! Here. Thank you. Yeah. Wish virtual hugs. Yeah. Your amazing hugs. <laughs> Ten minutes long, right? <laughs> <laughs> I miss them. But I saw you not too long ago. Uh, I guess a few months ago when I was in LA. Thank God. I know. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Your 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 stuff has saved me time and time again. Honestly, Aww. your work. Thank you so much. I awesome. I I mean, it's a natural high. There's nothing like uh, at the sound, you know, in general. Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I'm glad it's um, yeah, it's just been powerful work for myself to be able to share it with people and have them resonate with it. It's been awesome. And you get the gong back sometimes, right? You get a nice little return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm standing right in front of the thing, so I'm getting the I'm getting the full deal. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. You give, you give, and you get. Yeah, you are my first sound bath and breath work, by the way, ever. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Wow, and I mean, I do you incorporate the, incorporate that on your um, live streams now, or not yet? You know, it's funny. I've been, I've been. People have been asking me about doing it, and I'm, um, you know, and you've been to my breath, my breathwork class, you know, and obviously it's that communal sort of experience of everyone being together, and going through the journey together, and um, it's just such a cathartic experience for some people. And I've been a little bit hesitant about wanting to do it online. I probably got to overcome the fear a little bit around it, but I just feel. <laughs> For people going through, uh, you know, breath work can be pretty intense. And I always feel it's as just as a space holder, feeling responsible to kind of hold the space if someone's having like the tetany in their hands. And I just have been sort of <laughs> wanting to not really, I feel like someone being at home and being on the other end of the screen, it just feels very weird to me to kind of take people on that journey right now. But I'm, I'm playing around with the idea of doing something a little softer and gentler compared to like my screaming into the gong, letting go of everything kind of experience. So I'll probably get something going soon. Well, maybe you should have tears, you know, like advanced people, like people who've gone through it can do the, that, the full version. Cause yeah. I'm down, you know, yeah, right I miss the tetany. Yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> right on. Yeah. I know you came so much though. That was awesome. You were oh, it's so good. I miss it. I mean, Aww. sometimes I'm like, I should be in LA just for this, you Aww. know? <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. So you're so you're busy, and today is World Meditation Day. Mm. Thank you. What timing, right? Thank you for being here. I got my uh, mandala beads oh, ready. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I, I, what uh, what timing? I'm so I didn't. We didn't plan this. So I was just no. like, let's go. And yeah. you're like, L I'm down. That's the flow. blessings. That's how the flow works. That's the flow. Yeah. yeah that's it. <laughs> Yeah, so what so what inspired now. you for this gong? Like, how did you get into the gong? Because that's the foundation, anyway. Um, I've got I got I got turned out of the gong about maybe coming on almost fifteen years ago, maybe fourteen years ago, somewhere around there. I um, 
I, in my early 20s, I had kind of a, a really powerful um, spiritual kind of, I guess you could say, experience that cracked me open in a lot of ways. And I really wanted to be of service to humans. I really saw a lot of the, you know, I was really, I just opened up to the struggle of what we all kind of go through being in this human this human walk. And uh, I felt this strong call to want to like be of service to help people. And um, so I was kind of on a search. I was really searching far and wide. And um, I ran across Alex Gray, who's the artist out in New York. And uh, I love him. Yeah. I went out to his, started going to his full moon gatherings out there and in New York city um, back in Chelsea when he was there. And uh, there was a guy there. um, This guy, Dave, the gong guy. And he's uh, from Connecticut and he's a guy who uh, had a gong and some bowls there. And he had me sit down and, let us play this, play this gong. And uh, the minute I hit the gong, uh, it all came together. It, it just seemed to me like, cause sound is, for me, music has always been so healing for me throughout my life. I've always found music to be just incredibly healing for me. So for me, the minute I hit the gong, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the sound of creation. This is the sound of like all music. Everything is pouring through this this primal sound and, and, the, and just the, the intensity of it, but also the calmness of it. And it was just magical. And I really thought to myself at that moment, I was like, I saw, to be honest, I saw like thousands of people laying down. I saw, I was like, and it just locked in. I'm like, I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this wow. sound of, I'm not a religious person. Um, but I thought it was like the sound of heaven. I was like, this is the sound of heaven, the sound, the sound of creation. And, <laughs> Excuse me. So I basically what I did was I I bought a gong and um, the minute it showed up at the house, I, it was actually this gong um, when it showed up at the uh, house. You know, I saved enough money. Baby gong. Yeah, I saved enough money to get this gong, <laughs> so and I and I said to one of my roommates, I was like, "Hey, let's go out to this music festival and gong people." And my buddy was like, "He just kind of thought I was crazy," and I was like, "Let's go." And we went out, and I brought this gravity chair, one of these chairs, and leaned back in, and I had my little my little Tibetan bowl here and uh, an eye mask. And I basically go out to this festival and I wanted to like just put people in this sound experience. And the first day at the festival, I get out there and people are kind of looking at this chair with a gong next to it. Uh. I'm kind of like, I think I'm not, uh, it doesn't look too. And then I got like maybe <laughs> 10 people the first day to sit in it. And those 10 people went out and told all the people, a bunch of people. And the next day I had like lines of people lined up wanting to get in it. And then I didn't even realize it was healing at that point. I didn't realize it could have an impact. And I had a gentleman in the chair uh at this festival i was at and i had already been through like probably gone 60 people at this point you know giving people like five minute sessions in this chair and this older gentleman who was in his late 50s came up and he sat in the chair and he um he was in there for like 15 20 minutes and next halfway through the session he just started bawling and crying Uh, and i just uh. thought to myself wow like what is going on right here and he comes out of the experience and he looks at me and he's got tears pouring down his face and it's this guy and he's like late 50s you know just seeing an older older man just cry is just like and he's just hysterical (laughs) and i just was like and i asked him i said what happened and he looked at me and he goes uh i can only hope that heaven is as beautiful as that just was and when he said that to me like everything open and there was like 10 people 15 people to wait in for the experience they all watched it happen and we're all literally crying and hugging each other and in that moment i just looked around at my buddy and i was like i'm <laughs> what like the- i'm like dude we have to gong <laughs> everybody <laughs> so, yeah yeah so it's, I it's so, this journey so powerful after that to just venture out to the world and gong as many people as we could and it's taken i fell in love with somebody we traveled the country for a couple months and then i ended up in california and we just kind of gonged away i mean it was really beautiful <laughs> experience um and it's just been amazing the kind of the ride of uh, sharing this primal music that's really um designed to really i was just blown away how it just cancels out that chatter in your mind and it's hard to shut off the mind you know i, I have i have difficulties just sitting in silence and trying to meditate and uh, for me sound is just such a key key thing to really get me into the into that space of letting go and being at some peace um, so that was kind yeah, of, yeah, I, I say that water is life, sound is life and breath is life. Yeah. So there's three, there's a lot of life and things, but those semi are pretty, yeah, you can't really be here without those three things. Those, those are fundamental for sure. Right. Yeah. But someone wrote, Sarah wrote your sound baths are the most powerful I've ever experienced. Aww, thanks Sarah. It's true. Thanks so it's much. True. 
Thank you so much. Yeah, it was a, uh, yeah, it's been kind of a working sort of uh, trust ball of energy over the years of just um, moving to Los Angeles from Connecticut back in 2009 and uh, wow. meeting the right people along the way. And kind of, uh, I mean, I feel like in the end, we're all kind of taking little pieces of things from all of our teachers out there and everybody. And we're kind of forming our own little alchemy experience. And I was just blessed to have met some people when I got to Los Angeles that really helped create what I've created out of this experience. So I, I, I think, you know, all those people, you know, especially I mean, one person, Michael Brian Baker, who's somebody who turned me on to the breath work. Um, deep gratitude to him um, and uh, Athena Stars. I mean, just people in my in the community. That I just, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for them. So it's just the sharing of this alchemy and energy that we've all kind of um, are borrowing and sharing from each other, and that's it. Just keep sharing. And your the stars aligned for you to keep to keep it going. You you always have a sign telling you to keep going. Yeah, well, I think what it is is like when you're really passionate about something and you believe it without any doubt that that is such a powerful there's nothing more powerful than actually believing in something like full on it's a lot of people out there can be living other people's dreams they think oh this is this is what i want to do but you're not really 100 percent sure you're kind of teetering in different areas but for me it was like the minute i heard the gong and the bowls i was like that's it <laughs> in this <laughs> incarnation of life this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, and it's just been, it, yeah, it hasn't gotten old, you know, and that's the magic of uh, sharing this kind of alchemy experience is that um, every time I do this, it's never the same. It's always a different experience and it, yeah, it's very cool in that way. What, what is the conduit center? Cause I read that in your bio. Oh, that was a place back in Connecticut that me and a couple friends um, ventured out. We, we, we had, we had talked about creating this um, this center out there in Connecticut. And Connecticut's kind of a dense place. You know, we, I grew up out there. And it's just, you know, it's, there's no spirituality. Everyone's very, like, <laughs> right. kind of like, the most conservative, like, place you could probably live. You know, it's just like, so. Right, let's go to college and hiking. And I have friends yeah. out there. And I love them. But you're right. Yeah, it's like, true. great woods. People are super <laughs> grounded. And, and, and I've got some solid, solid friends back home. But, um. But there wasn't ever that spiritual element. So we kind of, me and a couple friends, um, roommates of mine that I was living with at the time, we decided that we were going to create this, this center. And I had actually, just as like the center was starting to launch, I had already decided to move to California. But we, but we basically <laughs> toured this uh, beforehand under the name The Conduit. And The Conduit was kind of this idea that I came up with years ago was around like, just being a conduit for people, you know, it's really, it's really easy when you start to work with these kind of instruments and when you start serving people. And I really see it a lot. in like, sometimes in the spiritual community, like just really how the ego can come in. And I really found that what I realized was like how respond being really responsible of playing these instruments in a way that I really feel like in the serving of others, um, if you're making it about you, it really doesn't work. <laughs> so I've always been sort of a, um, just really taking it from on a serious level of like, this is, um, I'm just here to serve and uh, keep playing into that role, you know, of um, not letting myself get too into it. I don't yeah, it's at your sound baths. I mean, I've met some of the best people. I think my first sound bath with, was with Marianne Williamson when I came with you. To oh, you. yeah, we did the Marianne Williamson Breathwork sound that bath. That was my there. first one. In con going running for Congress, yeah. Yeah, that was Isn't great. Isn't that cool? That was very cool. But, um, yeah. So she's one of the people, but there's so many people I've met at your sound baths. And I would, you, you're you you're in a circle surrounded by all these strangers. And one of them is crying. One of them's laughing. One of them's literally having an orgasm next to me. <laughs> and But you're lucky enough to be inside yourself healing. Yeah. So it's not too distracting. But I mean, obviously, at, the, at first, it's a challenge. But when you get used to it, it's like, oh, they're going through this, like mm. you hold that space for them, but you're holding the space for everyone. You are the one sending the vibration with the gong, mm. you know, at, at that high point. But it's mm. so, the whole experience is so powerful, no matter whether it's five, even though it's usually a hundred people when I'm there, five or one person to a hundred, it's the gong is, it's right. It's just, it's mind blowing. Well, yeah. And then <laughs> we layer with the breath work, you know, and, and there's just something magical about like that that whole breathwork sound bath experience um, that I've noticed over the years is just where, you know, you get 60, 70 strangers walk into a room and no one knows anybody. 
and you go, you lay down, you get blindfolded, you go through this cathartic <laughs> experience where I take you through the journey of, you know, you know, breathing for your inner child, like just going through all the journey. And then at the point where we all release and scream into the gong, we just all let go of all of our stuff mm -hmm. together in community. That moment right there, it kind of, in a real primal therapy, Pudic sort of way brings everybody to this place of oneness of like we all let go together and then at the end you come out of the experience and it's so funny when you look around at everybody's face when they come up and they're all looking at each other like wow <laughs> you know and having that sort of connecting experience and one of the things i've kind of thought over the years has just been sort of a drag is how in two hours we can accomplish this like deep sense of connection in a community setting using breath work and sound and but we all kind of get up and we kind of, we all kind of leave and go about our day. And I always thought to myself, it would just be great to integrate more with everyone because that connection of all of us coming together is so special. And to be able to kind of encapsulate the moment for a little longer to see, I mean, I've had people come to my, my breathwork sound who have actually, uh, I know a couple that got married they, they years later, wow. they met at the breathwork sound bath and they fell in love. Like, mm -hmm. It's just amazing. That's awesome. You know? So yeah, you know, you just, it's yeah, really we used to go to, champ's diner after to come down because <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> you know you leave there you're floating on a cloud yeah it's and great. champs has vegan options in la so oh good you know we used to get that group of people we didn't want to leave each other right yeah yeah it's got that it's got that feel to it you know i love it and i miss it uh so uh just shifting for a little bit you are you uh, in a relationship still or how's your uh, family love life going over there it's going okay you know it's it's um you know family's good um you know uh, it, 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 the quarantine thing can be a little challenging you know um it's just kind of yeah. you know it's tight you know being in you know space together and sharing a little more of an intimate space so um the relationship part is sort of you know working through stuff but um you know it's 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 just a lot of uh a lot of movement i mean in a lot of ways this like being a little more quarantined and trying to navigate through this uh field of playing you know doing this online service and trying to working from home now it's just um yeah it's kind of a lot you know but yeah i'm with my family and patience has never been more tested i'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> yeah excuse me yeah it's true you know it's, it's one of the things to really remember right now is just like i think so many of us we're so we're so emotional and we're really kind of left in the dark around a lot of what's happening right now. We're a lot of confusion, a lot of misinformation going on. So we're just, yes. we're really in, you know, in that feeling is the, like the last thing we really need to feel right now is the separation of awareness and, and things like that. And I feel like, um, yeah, it's just important that we have more of these kind of conversations and things around where people are, keep the connection moving. Um, because, uh, yeah, I often think that there's definitely a lot of like meddling going on, especially on social media around um, content and information and a lot of conspiracies that, you know, maybe are true, but a lot of them aren't, you know, and it's just how it's spinning us in a way where we are all confused and we're feeling separate from one another, or not another. and we should actually be more digging deeper into the truth of what's really going on is that... Um, we really need to stick together, you know? And right. Don't let it separate you no matter what. I mean, I'm yeah. on every social media cause I'm a performer Yeah. and I just don't, but I also went to school for advertising. So I mm -hmm. kind of don't take most of the messages and, you know, with a grain of salt, I do. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. You gotta, it's like, but it's, you know, it's funny. It's just comb through your Facebook. Sometimes you kind of look and you see some people that are really falling into the trap um, of a lot of very, I mean, just far out, crazy stuff. <laughs> Tom Hanks yeah. is dead. Tom, you know, it's crazy. Like, yeah. what's going on? Like, what are, and the fact people are Chill. like, I'm like, wow. I mean, you know, um, you know, I think about like the, the, the Russians meddling in our elections here. I mean, to think that they're not doing that now is also kind of like, really? Come on. Like, we got to really keep our more conscious energy around what's going on and really stick together. I mean, it really is true. I think, um, you know, you know, united we stand, divided we're going to fall. We got to stick together. And there's a virus yeah, going through, on. There's through. a virus. There's definitely a virus and it's definitely affecting people in a big way. Um, and we just have to honor the process of what's happening right now. And, and, and the one thing about, I think, our country, which is just sad in general, and I, I do think there's corruption in our government for sure, and especially due to like, you know, major corporations and things like that. But I think that- It's inevitable. Yeah, it's inevitable. But I also think that um, 
that we what we have in this country is unlike many other countries where other countries you know really trust their government you know and we really <laughs> don't have that here you know and that ha that's a real disease in some way of like you know um that can really throw our it really divides us it really is people you know and it's and yeah there is corruption there is things going on but we really need to like really be factual about what the truth is at this point i mean we're, we're, we're in an right. information war right now and that's the thing that's happening behind this COVID thing so it's really you know staying diligent with what's really up you know yeah now this i could go on i'm not even going to start I, this I know, conversation can, because i'm you. ready to go off and i won't <laughs> <laughs> so no we'll talk about that offline or another episode right um let's get back to the sound yeah. before like I had a person call me last night asking for like a political survey who was obviously a supporter of the president and they're not really a survey person. And they ended up hanging up on me because they don't like what I had to say. Mm. So, yeah. All right. So the sound resources article, I saw you sent that out. I think I'm going to share that with my followers. What kind of resources should people look to right now to help them? As far as, calming down and being oh uh, yes Re uh, decreasing anxiety sleeping better yeah well i mean one of the main things th I, I was thinking about earlier today was like you know when you receive information um in the news or anything like that when you turn on any kind of like it's really important that you examine how you're feeling in that moment like what is that feeling that you're is the feeling that you're feeling in your body a sense of satisfaction even though you may agree with it you really it's about deciphering like where you're at emotionally. And when we start to kind of go into that, that's where we start to let our own thoughts and kind of take over. And so it's really good to be like, well, for one to unplug, to really unplug. And that's really the goal of, the, of, of it really. Cause it's, you know, I take, I wake up in the morning, I do my practice and then I kind of, um, I dive into a little bit of news, see what's going on. And then I unplug and, and, and you go back in and just, but it's really important. This whole thing is really designed to, um, we re it's really important that we take the time for our mental health to really unplug from what's happening. And, um, it's like, we, you know, me and you were just, we were just about to dive back in, you know, to the whole thing. It's like, it, it pulls <laughs> us in, you know, Don't but it's, it. it's, it's really about also about like, you know, and I think it's also important to, to, uh, you know, be diligent as, as, as we should be about around stuff. Um, but it's also really important to on, on, on to unwind and relax from, um, a lot of these things. And, um, you know, meditation, anything to get you I go outside I mean, people, I think the fear, uh, is really the part that's really hard for people right now. And I think it's really important that we, we, uh, you got to get outside, you got to get fresh air. You got to, you got to take your, take really good care of your mental health, you know, be, um, you know, taking that time for yourself to really dial in. And for me, it's always been, like I said, it's a challenge to kind of go into, uh, a quiet space to myself totally. So for me, it is usually the sounds I'll, I'll, you know, it's, it's laying, laying down, receiving, um, into that sound experience, even being outside, so, you know, anything, everything. Oh, I know. Being outside is so important. Yeah. Just take your shoes off and get in the grass. Yeah. Um, yeah. Della Raggi, Raggi, I believe, uh, says, do you have a trusted binaural wave source on YouTube? Hmm. Wave source. Um, I don't, I mean, I have some binaural, I have some binaural, um, bowls that I use for my events that are create a theta state. Um, so when I play like a G and a G sharp, uh, a little, they kind of create this theta state, but no, I don't know anything on YouTube. I'm sure you could Google it. I'm sure you could find something on YouTube. I, I, I wouldn't know what to suggest though. Offhand. Um, um, can you, what about your new, I mean, might as well bring it up then your new website. Cause it looks amazing. Do you have oh. anything like that on there? Yeah, well, we're actually, yeah, we're launching this um, online service. Uh, so it's, we've been, we started off doing this when the, when, when the COVID started happening, we, we did a couple live stream concerts, um, which was cool. We had, we had, you know, we, we sold a lot of tickets for them and it was great and people tuning in, but we found that, you know, then we, then we did another one two weeks later. So there's like two weeks period where people don't have any outlet to tune into. So what we're doing is creating a, um, an actual online platform that allows you to uh watch any any sound meditation anytime you want lay down um and listen to a high quality stream of um a pre-recorded session that we've done and we've got all these different levels different categories so like you know a five minute session 15 minute session 
things like that. And then what we're going to do is uh, this platform also allows us to live stream too. So anyone that signs up nice. on this, on the platform, uh, we will do like random live streams. So it's a great platform. So we're really excited about that. We're launching that and it's just, um, yeah, switching over this, two media, this new medium, you know. The cool thing for me right now is I don't have to carry all this stuff around and set it up. So <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like really I remember your van. <laughs> I'm missing the people, but I'm definitely enjoying the and not having to carry this stuff and set it up and break it down. And, and we need and we actually need this. So it's yeah. we're lucky you get to to give it to us and and what timing to create it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Great yeah. timing, guy. <laughs> Oh, I know no better time than now, I guess, you know, but. so let me say Del Della, you can check out his new, uh, website. It's sound meditation presents dot you screen dot IO. Yes. Yeah. If you go to sound meditation presents dot com, it should bring you right to it. So, okay. That's easier. Thank com. you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're also on Instagram and everything. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook. Um, I've been doing some, uh, gong, streams uh monday through friday at 8 p.m uh just for the community on my gong guy live stream page which is on facebook so i, get, I, get, I listened I get, to one last night and i listened to the home event last night because i paid i got it a few days ago oh cool and i actually i haven't done one of them in a while because i'm an old lady but i did it and i cried it i you know i don't know why i cried but tears were coming oh. down my face so whatever good. that was, good. It was good. It was a good time. Good. Oh, <laughs> good time for all. You're so sweet. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. So do you do you have a little sound you can play for us? Yeah, I was thinking uh, maybe I'd play. I think I was thinking. I'm not sure how good it's going to come through because Instagram isn't really the best. But I thought maybe I'd play a little bit of the gong. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that way you get a little taste of. Uh, I'm just not sure how good it's going to come through, but I will see how it goes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull off to the side. So you just, when you're, I see the screen over here, though. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, um, anyone that's listening, just close your eyes for a second. And I, I hope this comes through good for you, but you, you get an idea. Gives you a little taste yeah. of uh, um, of the gong. Yeah, I'm the over here the, tripping out, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the cool thing about the gong. The function the function of the gong is to clear. So it's basically the sound of all. It's every harmonic and overtone. So it's it, the way it fills the space. It's really hard for the human mind to really hold on to thoughts for longer than like probably ten or twelve minutes. Once you're in this thing for about uh, forty five minutes, you're you're you can't help but just your thoughts just start to go. And that's kind of the magic of um, the gong itself. Such a powerful instrument. It's, it's, I, it's beautiful. Yeah. The, the, Dave, the gong guy, this guy I met years ago said to me, he's like, when someone can say something more powerful than the gong, I'll listen. And I really, it's always <laughs> stuck with me. I've always loved that quote. Cause it's like, there's just nothing more powerful. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah. No, I was feeling the vibrations. It was good sound for me on this end. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's great. Good. 
So you could, I mean, if you know, if you ever want to jump on, no, oh, yeah, just be yeah. like, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> right on, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the? Have you played with like a lot of gongs at once? Is that possible? You know, that's another thing. It's so funny. Um, when I first got into this, I had this dream of like having all these gongs. They have these like plan- they have these planetary tune gongs, and I was like, I want all nine planets, and people have them, <laughs> and. Um, I learned a lot from this guy, Dave, who I, who I originally, uh, the guy who turned me out of the gongs and bowls years ago. And he was kind of a cross between like a merry prankster and a, and a Buddhist. He was a really funny guy, a great, great guy. And he, he would just say to me, he's like, how do you, how does one play all these gongs? You can really only play one gong at a time. So I feel like I focus all my energy into this gong and this gong is actually, it's, it's, this is a gong that's, um, it's called the, it's a sun gong. It's actually tuned to the frequency of the sun. This symbol here is the, the sun. And I just, yeah, I just love this gong. And, and it's just so versatile. And I just find that if you really hone in on one, you know, you can hit a bunch of gongs, but to play a gong and to really <laughs> play it, it's something different, you know. It's a more spiritual playing. Yeah, it's just more, it's, more, it's, a little more, it's a little more musical connect, a little more musical connection rather than just, I mean, anybody can hit a gong and anybody can sing a bowl. But when you start to look at it like musical um, and like layering stuff and things like that, it has a different feel to it. So I just found with more gongs, it gets a little more distractive and, you know True. but i don't know it's just my take what, what kind of uh sign are there any scientific facts you can share about sound well i mean i mean you know the only thing you know it's like everything is sound you know we're all vibrating where are we just right now we're just like little vi- we're vi- vibrating <laughs> so it's like when you're when you put yourself into i often think of sound baths as being sort of a where when you think of like a tuning fork, if you were to hit a tuning fork, if I were to have, if this was a tuning fork, I hit a fork and I, br- and I have another one here and I bring it close to this one. This one will start vibrating too. I didn't, I didn't hit it, but it'll start kind of, it's a sympathetic mm. resonance that, ha- that takes place. So when you lay down for a sound bath and the room is being filled with this, these pure tonal harmonics, um, you are actually being like a tuning fork being tuned up also. It's like there's a sympathetic resonance on a cellular level what we're experiencing. Um, so yeah, you know, I, um, to me, that just seems like the most simplest way of a scientific approach, like the fact that everything is a vibration. And when we put ourselves into like, especially with these crystal bowls and gongs and, uh, something about the pure tonal energy, the, the fact they're made, the way this was pounded, the alchemy of how this you know, all these different metals that create this sound and the crystal bowls and the mm-hmm. gongs, like there's an alchemy to these instruments that create a pure energetic tone. Um, and there's a purity in it that's so enriched. And I just feel, um, and then you lay back into that experience and that it's vibrating the cells in your body. And it's, it's really having an effect, um, not only in the mind, but on the body itself. Um, and I've had people have, you know, I've been doing this for years and I've had some people have, they've had some experiences where I think what it really does, the, the sounds allow you to tap into an inner channel of yourself that's connection to spirit or your own, whatever, God, whatever it connects. There's a, something about this sound that connects you into a place within yourself that I think people can actually self heal um at times I, I mean i've had uh you know i had a guy years ago we were out in new orleans and i had my gong chair set up in new orleans and there was this guy i remember uh who came up he's total skeptic he looked at this thing and his wife was like come on you should get in that thing and he was like <laughs> he's like he's like nah and nah. she's like come on your legs been bothering you all day you should get in there you know so he's, he's like i'll give it a shot so he sits down and he, we, we gong him for like 20 minutes 20 minutes or something he comes up out of the experience and he he walks away throws us a little tip and walks away and he comes back a half hour later <laughs> and he comes over to us with his eyes wide open. And he's like, I can't believe it. My legs, I have no pain in my legs. I've got no, you know, wow. I'm, just, I'm saying to myself, holy shit, really? <laughs> like, wow. You know? it's, it's, it's really, it's really magic. I mean, it's really these, these, yeah. these tonal instruments are, are magic. Um, there's just something about the transferring of the energy. And I just feel as being like a steward of these instruments, and to other sound healers out there, it's so important that like you just get out of the way and let the spirit come through you to deliver this to everyone because you got to be careful what you're gonging in. You know, you got to be careful what you're 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 the one creating these sound to go out to the people. Where are you when you're doing that? And if you're thinking mm-hmm. about your, you know, all your stuff, and you're gonging that in. That's that's <laughs> going to be something else. So it's really about 
reminding yourself of the pure tonal energies of the instruments and also keeping yourself in a place where <clears throat> dropping into, you know, as much humility and grace around uh, administering this stuff. It's a challenge to be a musician. It's a challenge to be a steward. Yeah, it's challenging when you got, yeah. It, you know, it's always, it's, it's, um, I mean, we all kind of want to be seen in some way. And that's a, that's a real thing. We all kind of want to be seen. I think we live in that kind of society where that plays a big part. But um, it's really like the, the craft of what you're sharing and the artistry. Like when you look at an artist, you look at a painting, you're not really thinking about the artist. It's just the painting. So hmm. it's kind of the same thing. I'm just painting pictures of sound and people are having some sort of a um, channeled experience for, their self, for, for themselves. Um, so it's hard to say whatever's happening for anyone, but I can just say that so many people have come out of the experience telling me, I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm like, wow, like, you know, people, you know, saying that they haven't thought about their mother who passed right. away 25 years ago. And they were like, I could smell her in the room, you know, I mean, wild stuff, you know? So it's really, I really think the sounds, these sounds um, bring you into a deeper channel of uh, your, it's, it's like the sound of inner truth, really, you know? And that's different for everyone, yeah. but it's your own inner truth, well, you know? So I've done it. I've done a bunch, a handful. Yeah. And, uh, I, I like, sometimes I would realize inside, you know, I'm laying there and then I'm like, Oh, everything's happening inside my stomach. You know, like these thoughts would come up, you know? Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm, I'm a less is more. Mm -hmm. So when everyone screams, I actually don't, I'm like as still as can be, you know, then that's my journey. Yeah. But some people are screaming their heads off, you know, but I am just oh, like, I look work. dead probably, you know? <laughs> Right. Yeah, with the breath work. Yeah, I mean, and, that, and that's kind of neat, you know. I mean, that's like for you. That's your, 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 right. your kind of experiencing everyone else letting go, and you're kind of taking that in. Which, I mean, that's the thing about the, the. There's no rules to this stuff. It's just wherever you need, whatever you need to access. I think it just opens portals for you to access things easier in the mind. Um, when you're still, you're focused on your breath, and when you start to have these different tonal harmonics coming in creates different thought patterns in the mind and you can actually start to kind of think and then incorporating breath work on top of it it allows for a lot of and, things to kind of surface that maybe well and you keep saying it intention based sound because mm -hmm. you know you could listen to any song on spotify or whatever obviously depending on the intention but especially live intention that's really something that hits you yeah yeah it's so true it's so true. It's a blessing. Like your your streams are a blessing, and I'm I hope more people can uh, realize that. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so, what are some tips? A few more uh, tips before, like, so we'll go to the website. Say I'm, you know, I'm having a bad day. I could go to the website, but I want to watch you live. Generally, I like to see you live. So, Facebook, you stream on, right? Yeah, right now I'm doing Facebook. Uh, I'm doing like these gong streams at 8 p.m. on Monday through Friday, uh, and it's just basically the gong. Uh, and it's a hi-fi stream, so we got like the sound quality is pretty good, and we got it really kind of dialed in. It is. It's hard to create the, um, to really pull off the experience of being in a room live, um, but it's it's definitely it's definitely working. Um, so I'm doing that Monday through Friday, and you can get that on. Uh, it's called the Gong Guys live stream on Facebook, and that's a Monday through Friday. And then uh, we're going to be doing. Sometimes we just do some random sound baths here and there for for the community, but uh, the main thing is the sound meditation presents. Uh, platform is going to be the thing that's really going to be accessible for everyone anytime they want it, which is which is the way we really want to have it set up. Where it's not, it's not like a once and you get to listen to the stream for a couple of days and then it's gone. It's like more like no, we want to give you as much content as you can so you can actually have the ability to drop in whether it's five minutes, twenty minutes, an hour, you know, whatever you. Need. Well, people use it for meditation as well, not not just going to sleep, which is what I used it for last night. But yeah. you can just pop it up and meditate to it. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know, it's really hard to meditate in silence. Uh, it can be really challenging to do so. so. I don't. <laughs> hard, you know? so I need music. I use that, like film scores usually, but I could use your, your music as well. Yeah, just those kind of sounds. It just helps to kind of clear, clear the mind. So um, that's what I found. It's just, yeah, for me, sound is always the ticket, you know. It is. It's the key. Yeah. It's uh, the key. Well, this is awesome. Thank you. Um, of course.
Thank you for joining me. And I, I see a bunch of people joined and thank you everyone for asking questions. Yeah, thanks. Um, I look forward to your streams. I love the, the live so notifications, much. whatever. I'm there, guy. And I, I can't you. wait to actually come out to LA and see you. And you have to come to New York when you do these events again. Yeah, we had such a good time in New York. We went out there a couple of years ago. It was awesome. And, and we loved it. We can't wait for this to kind of blow over and get back to uh, Gong and the Planet. So I'll be the first one there. Oh, I love you. Yeah, thanks so much. And I you know love what, you. And is, this, is this? Have you done a couple of these so far? Is this your first one? You're or? my third guest. Wow, my cool. number three. Well, thank you. Number three is and on meditation world meditation world meditation day. day. Perfect time. Okay. Yeah. That's how the, <laughs> thank that's, that's you. The flow. Well, that's thanks the flow. so much and, and keep up the great work. And I think this is great that thank you're you. putting this kind of information out there. And thanks for doing it. Thank you for uh, healing us, guy. Oh, I love you. Okay, love you too. Thank you for joining. You got it. Take care. Have a great day, everyone. See you ya. too. Bye. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining the Stina Show. Next week's guest is going to be Corinne Emery, who's a medical professional, and we're going to get her uh, perspective on going back to work in the COVID um, Rona times and um, see how she's doing. Uh, please subscribe on YouTube at Stina Show. And thank you again for joining. I'll see you next week. <laughs>